Okay, so looking at these two devices, so here we have a Armasite Cirrus um, Gen 2 Plus. This is pretty much an entry level um, night vision device. Uh, I believe it's the cheapest Gen 2 Plus I was able to find at the time. Um, this is the standard definition version. There are other models which have higher resolution tubes. And this here is a Acton Black PVS 14. This um, doesn't have manual gain, um, but it's on a Photonis Echo Gen 2 tube. The armor site is sort of a standard Gen 2 tube, um, not a Photonis Echo quality and also not as phot uh, the Photonis commercial quality, which comes beneath the Echo. So, done some videos to demonstrate how they stand up, so I'll show those to you shortly. And the actual devices, you can see there's quite a big size difference between the two. And also, as you may expect, more weight. This is heavier than this by a reasonable amount. And on a helmet, this works fine, but it is heavy. Um, it can cause the helmet to lean a little. I've run it plenty and not had too many issues. Yes, you get a bit of lean, but it's fine. It works. Um, the price difference between the two um, is relatively significant. This is about two and a half times more expensive than this. What do you get for the money? Well, clearly they're both Gen 2. Uh, and the key point I was really to make with this video is Gen 2 is not equal. Um, you might think Gen 2 is Gen 2, um, but actually there's a number of things that make a difference. There's housing, obviously, we've looked at that. Optics are a big thing. Now, the optics on this aren't great. Um, they're fine, you can see through it, you can see, see plenty of detail, um, but when you compare it to something like this, this is like looking, it's, this is like watching a videotape on an old um, CRT television, and this is like watching a Blu-ray um, on a LCD screen. It's night and day in terms of quality and clarity and that you see. But of course, that's, that's not just the optic, that's the resolution of the tube as well. Difference in these tubes is this is quite a noisy tube, which means you see a lot of fuzz. That's the microchannel plate uh, in terms of how that's working, I believe. And this, it is pretty clear and sharp. In low light, this has a much better form. Uh, form the higher the form, the better the performance in, in low light. Um, this does work better. But I would say um, when it gets really dark, it's subtle. It is subtle, the difference. Uh, it certainly isn't radical. Now I've got a video which I'm going to cut to now, which will demonstrate firstly the Spark. So this is a demo of a Armasite Sirius Gen 2 Plus. It's the SD model, which is the standard entry level model. So this evening uh, I'm going to compare it to um, a higher end uh, Actin Black PVS 14 with a uh, Photonis Echo tube. Both Gen 2, but I want you to see the difference between the two. So, the evening tonight, as you can see, it is dark. Um, we actually do have uh, a two-third moon. Uh, it's building here behind the trees. Um, so, the night vision are both going to look particularly good tonight with a fair amount of ambient light. So, starting with Cirrus. Give me a second, I'm using an iPhone here, so we'll see how well this connects up. Okay, so this is... Oh, hold on. Okay, there we go. So this device um, is probably the cheapest Gen 2, well certainly the cheapest Gen 2 I could find. Um, it's kind of discontinued in the fact that uh, Fleur bought Armasite and then closed Armasite down uh, for commercial um, purposes, sorry. Um, but AMG, another company, have bought the factory. So these may become available again here in the UK. As you can see, this is pretty good for a Gen 2 device. Even in the darker areas, um, between those trees, we can see through that quite nicely. And again, back this way, um, it's darker through here as well. Now I will say, when it gets properly dark, if we had no moon tonight, um, it would start to struggle more, but then that is true of all night vision. Okay, so let's have a look at how it compares to the um, PVS-14 from Acton Black. Great. So this is um, a Acton Black um, Photonis uh, Echo Gen 2 Plus. Um, 
how much more? It's sort of almost three times the price, not quite, but closer to two and a half than the um, Cirrus. Okay, clearly white phosphor, but that aside, um, much better optics. Um, as you can see, everything is generally a lot crisper. There's also far less noise uh, on the tube. The FOM is higher on this, which means it's going to work better in darker light. Clearly tonight that's not too much of an issue, but in darker places this does perform better, although I have to say marginally better than the Cirrus, which is a very standard Gen 2 tube. But as you can see, everything is crystal clear through this device. And I was keen to put this together because if you're like me, you may have a Gen 2 device and you're wondering where you spend your money, especially if you're in Europe and the UK. Um, Gen 3 is hard to get hold of and it's very expensive. What you do see is often secondhand, uh, and of course you're not always sure where those tubes have come from and how much use they've had. So is it worth the upgrade? Um, well, yes, if you want to spend the money, but at the same time, the Cirrus Gen 2 is awesome uh, and it certainly lets you have a lot of fun, for airsoft at least. Now in the darkest environments, this is going to work better, uh, without a shadow of a doubt. But it is not a magic bullet. It's not going to solve all of the challenges that you may have. Um, and like all night vision, you'll still need IR in the darkest of conditions. Great. So as you can see, both of them are pretty good. There wasn't a full moon night, which means these are going to work the best that they can. So you've seen them probably in their absolute prime. In darker conditions, they would be less impressive. I have been in environments um, under heavy forest cover away from any artificial light um, and starlight or moonlight and all I can see is static uh, on this without IR. I'm not used to this in the same environment but I've had similar reports that you may see a little more but even then you're going to need some extra light. Now that's just night vision. Um, Gen 3 is a bit better uh, and if you're on a high end Gen 3 uh, thin filmed or filmless it is going to perform slightly better in low light environments but again it's slightly better, it is not going to totally transform what you see. Now, an important note to make with all of this, this is currently October uh, in 2020 in the UK. Um, apparently we're about to leave the EU um, at the end of the year. That does cause some interesting challenges with night vision as things stand. So the fact of the matter is, um, and this is, the, this is true today as it will be uh, in January next year, Getting night vision out of the States is very difficult. Now, yes, this is a US device, um, but they will only allow devices of a certain quality out. Anything high-end is not allowed to leave the country. In Europe, um, that is different. If you're part of the EU, goods um, such as uh, these devices, these um, photonics tubes, can be um, sold uh, in the UK as it can in any other European state. However, when we leave, I'm being told um, by Acton Black that could become quite a lot more expensive to get these tubes in the UK. Uh, there'd also be quite a lot more paperwork involved. It may even be possible that they are not able to be sold in the UK. Um, that's not clear at the moment, but of course Acton Black know what it's like trying to deal with countries outside of the EU. So that's something worth bearing in mind. If you're really keen to get into night vision and you want something higher end and something more standard, then it, now's a good time to buy before the end of the year. If you've got any questions, fire them up in the comments below. I was really keen to post this because I've been running night vision for a while, had this for a few years, loved every minute of it, but always wondered if I'd get more from another Gen, Gen 2 device or whether I should try to get um, a Gen 3. Gen 3 is just out of the price range, but um, there is a difference and I was really keen to share that with people. So hopefully now um, you can see for yourself what I've learned in terms of the difference between the two devices. If you can only afford this, it is great, go for it. If you do have extra money and you want more performance, yes, it is worth it. Hope that helps, cheers.